good morning, Blue Table fans. Good morning. And welcome to the morning show with Sarah and Sean. Yeah. Oh. Gonna have a perfect day today, I had decided. But then uh, I came downstairs and my wife was watching the inauguration. But Sarah made me promise not to talk about that. So I'm not going to talk about the giant bonfire of taxpayer edit, edit, money. Edit, edit. <laughs> yeah, I really went. I went on quite a tirade, didn't I? Yeah, it was just awesome. A bit. I think, and I think I did it in one breath. I think that you was might the have. awesome part. <gasps> breathe, Sean, breathe. <laughs> the libertarian, he's coming out. <laughs> Exactly. I forgot to make faces during all of that. During, oh, yeah, faces. <laughs> Burrowing animal. Oh, you did it! Okay, just so you know, I can capture a still from the video. Ah, yep. Why did I do it? We did uh, new headshots for the morning show. Yeah. And uh, Sarah didn't want to do burrowing, burrowing rodent. It just feels wrong. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't do. Um, we didn't do hippie either. We didn't. There were new pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got a lot to talk about today, not the least of which is the new orc battle wagon. We're going to have Rin in to do a review of that. In fact, uh, why don't cool. we just cut to Rin right now? The ladies love him. Woo! Hello, Blue Table fans. All right. Um... I am here to review the new Oric Battle Wagon kit. Let me just get it out of the box here. Alright. A couple cool things about this is uh basically you come well the thing first of all the thing's huge. <laughs> um you get tons and tons of options to uh basically how you want to build this thing. Uh, if you look at the pictures of it, um let me go to the back. Look at the pictures here. Um, basically, you can open it. You can make it so it's open like this. You can get oh, a bunch of guys front? in here. No, this is the back. Oh, okay. This is the uh, right. back opening here. Right. The wagon uh, part have, of the wagon. Yeah, the actual wagon part okay. of the wagon. Or you can build it with the... Uh, Giant turret. Yeah, the boom gun thingy. Or is that... Which is in okay, so the transport capacity is 20. Yeah, the basic transport capacity for a battle wagon is 20, and if you put the boom gun on top, it increases it down to 12, which is still pretty much right. all you need. I, I think it's the uh, kill cannon. Kill cannon. Is there a difference, I wonder? See, here we go or looking the, uh, stuff up wagon again. They call it a boom gun. Right. I, I think it is different. Let's take a look here. Kill cannon is strength 7, AP3, ordnance 1, large blast. And the boom gun is range 36, strength 8, AP3. Okay, so anyway. All right, so on to the kit. Let's take right. let's take a look. Um, kit retails for $55. Yeah. I think it's well worth it because uh, not only do you get this awesome battle wagon. Kit, right. But you could also mix and match it with trucks and stuff and just make all sorts of crazy Oh yeah. Mark, uh, Lubia D vehicles or just right. pretty much anything you want. There's a lot of great pieces, and there's going to be extra pieces on this too. Oh yeah. Wh like, what about the uh, yeah the cannons? Like the guns. Like yeah, there's, there's the, a giant uh, gun. Cannon. There's a zap gun. That zap gun's huge. Zap gun looks great. Yes, it does. Okay, um, basically got all the chassis pieces. Um, that's kind of the top. Um, right. Whatever you call it, turret piece. Right. Um, I like that there's that's like awesome orcs sticking out of it. Oh yeah, that's like a dozer blade. Can we see that again? Yeah. Okay, great. My only small gripe about it is that it doesn't come with a death roll. Oh yeah, yeah. There's well, eleven that's, upgrades. But honestly, how many of them do you think are honestly, in here? Honestly, that's easy enough to uh, to convert a death roll. Well, you could put it between instead, like take out the. Um, the dozer blade well, looking thing. It's got these two things. Right. I mean, you could just put a death roll in right. here. Find one what would you use for a death roll? A common household item. Common household item. Uh, a lot of people use cans, but I think that's too big. Yeah, that'd be too big. For this. A toilet paper roll. No. An old 
Um, okay, what what would be good? What would be the perfect size for that? I don't know. All right, I'll edit that part out. Okay, let's talk about uh, the options. All right, basically okay. with this kit, you get everything except for the uh, wrecking ball, the boarding planes, uh -huh. and a grot rigger. But the def roller. No, there, the there's a rigger roller. in there. Well, yeah, a little a, turret guy. A grot. With, on, like, let's see. The, uh, turret there right, is. and he there's has like a body. head that goes on there. There's his head. Okay. Like that's easy. Oh, enough. that can count. All right, um, they don't have the wrecking ball, but you get get it on the truck. truck kit. Right. Same with boarding planks. You get yeah, two in the truck kit. Yeah. Right. Oh, and then uh, the awesome thing is it comes with a grabbing claw. You can see the uh, the main That's piece the here, and there, there's the claws. Yeah. Um, personally, I think the grabbing claws are are awesome. Yeah. Take care of those pesky Eldar tanks quite easily. Hey, easy now. <laughs> Eldar are awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We'll uh, check in with you yeah, after I, you put I, a few I, together. Yeah, I give it a, I give it a thumbs up on this kit. Awesome. We love you, Red. Woo! He's <laughs> so hot. Yeah, isn't that great? There is a lot of stuff in this. I mean, this kit's amazing. This is the Land Huge. Raider for orcs. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. And it's insane looking. It's yeah. just it's just so orky. Yeah. Whatever the right word is. Yeah, I think that is a word. Okay. That's really, yeah, orky. It's um, great. And, you, you know, what I'd recommend is, uh, if you're going to do an orc army with vehicles, get two trucks, a box of three bikes, and one of these things. Are you happy now? Jeez. <laughs> no, leave the other one in. It was funny. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, and one of these. And things. one of these, mix them all up, cut them all off the sprue, all the pieces, mix it all up in a giant bin, and then put together vehicles and buggies from that. Which is very orky. Yeah, and just cut them up. It yeah. Would be full of I call it the junkyard method. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, so why don't you tell them about our contest? We Sarah? have a contest. Ooh, we a want contest. The with best. With prizes. Prizes for you. Okay, so we want the very best. Warhammer? Wargaming, Wargaming story. story. Could be anything. We really like yeah. the other ones. They were great, but keep them family friendly, please. Family friendly, good. And uh, short is good because yes. Sean has a short attention span. Yes. Really. And uh, like people send these the giant blocks work. of text, and I'm just well. like, oh, <laughs> I'm done. And it might be a great story, so just try to like keep it right. short. And you can send more than one. Yeah. Multiple stories. And I'm we're not guaranteeing we're gonna pick the best one. We're just guaranteeing gonna we're going to pick, pick one. one I like. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get like 200 entries. I'll just be like, man, I only have time for 20 at random. So really just lower your expectations. <laughs> okay. That's okay, the key just... to getting along with me in general. <laughs> Once those expectations hit that nice Once low level. Once they drop to a good steady low hum. All is well. well. Yeah, things are good. Everybody's happy. So show them the prizes there, Vanna. Okay. I mean, Sarah. First we have Marauders of Chaos Regiment. For Warhammer Fantasy. It's good stuff. Another Warhammer Fantasy piece of terrain. This is a chapel. Yeah. So in case you don't like the chapel, you have another option for yeah, fantasy. Yeah, I just threw that in there. Yeah, kind of last minute choice there. Yeah, and you then, get your pick of one. Yeah. These are unpainted, by Either the way. Either or. Yes, they come unpainted. Yeah. But, uh, hey, you could hire us to take care of that for you if you'd like. We'd love to. Okay, Warhammer 40K. We have this uh, Razorback Space Marine tank. Oh, yeah. It could be a rhino, too. Yeah, I guess you get either option in there. And Here's then, the best one. I think this is cool. Yeah. This is the Battle of Five Armies from The Hobbit. That's what it's based on. And it has everything in this box. All these little tiny characters. What was the millimeter size? It's, uh, I think, 15 millimeter. They're, real, they're tiny, but they're really cool. Yeah. All the elves and... Oh, goblins and uh, men and dwarves oh, yeah. and eagles and you name it and hills and little bits of terrain and the whole bit. Like so game. enter at your own risk. And it's heavy. Not available in some states. I don't know. What's the <laughs> disclaimer that they shoot by? Oh God. I don't you know, know, just look in the look in the upper right for the details. Right there. Oh, up there. Yeah. I didn't see it at first. Yeah, exactly. 